Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of finding the area of a rectangle. This is standard 3.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 32 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work it out on your own, and then unpause it and we will look at our answers together. So it looks like we have a blanket and we've got some patterns here, but I don't think the pattern really matters. What we need here is the area of the blanket in square feet. Now, for those of us that don't know, area is going to be kind of a new idea that we're looking at. So we're looking at a shape here. In this case, it's uh, either a square or a rectangle. I'm not sure yet, but the area measures the inside. So that's going to be new for most of us. Most of us know uh, how to find the perimeter. The perimeter we could find if we wanted to here, but that's the outside. So that's going all the way around. The area is measuring the inside. Well, the only way to measure the inside is to put squares. Now, in this case, it's a real blanket, so we have real squares. But sometimes if it's just a regular shape, we'll just put uh, make-believe squares in there. And we just count the number of squares. And so our answer in this case is going to be square feet. Sometimes it's square inches, sometimes it's square units, but we actually have a measurement. This looks like it's a pretty large blanket. So we've got this little foot right here, one foot there and one foot there. So that lets us know it's a square. And what we could do is we can just kind of count how many uh, feet we have up and then how many feet we have across. And so let's see, I've got, well, let's see, just start at the top. I go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight feet across. If I wanted to, I can keep counting. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You know what? I don't really feel like continuing that because the squares are kind of small and they're going by eight. So look at that. Eight times one is eight. All right, so eight times two is 16. Uh, so we've just got eight. I'm just going to count eight and put them down here. So 24. Obviously, I've got to know my eights max, 32, 40, 48. I've got 56, 64. And I'm going to end up here with 72. So if I did my calculations, right, it looks like 72 might be my answer, which I see right there in H. Let's put a question mark there. So let's see exactly what I did. There are eight across. And then how many sets of eight did I do? I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is a rectangle. It's not a square because it's not exactly the same. So here's what you can do with rectangle. You can skip count by eights if you want to. But if you're finding the area of a rectangle, if you find the length and the width, guys, here's a trick. The area can always be found by multiplying the length times the width. Now, this is only the area of a rectangle or a square. When you find the area of a trapezoid or a triangle later on, um, several years down the road, it'll be a different formula. But you can always multiply the length times the width. Now, let's take a look at some of these answers. How do we get 17? Well, you should see that what they did is they took their 9 and they added the 8. They didn't multiply, they got 17. Well, there's a lot more than 17 squares. There's nine sets of eight squares, which makes 72. So this one is incorrect. 34 happens to be 17 plus 17. So I'm guessing for some reason, they just, uh, they took this wrong number and they doubled it. But still, we know that there's 72. Then I think the 63, what this is, is this just happens to be uh, an incorrect fact here, because if you do 9 times 7, that makes 63. So I think this is the wrong answer. And the way they got it is because they just said, well, what if you somehow only counted 7 across instead of 8? Well, then you get the wrong one for 63. But we've already counted, and our answer is going to be H, 72 square feet.